Hello, hello. Welcome to Smash Ultimate. And how to play Smash Ultimate. Let's get out of that. Uh, so, first time streaming this in a while. New update came out. Girl Naruto has been added to the game. And she's a boxer who uses ramen. It's a very strange addition. But, as I do with new character releases, I'm going to try her out. I'm going to do a quick, uh, quick bot match to kind of get a feel for her, because I haven't played her yet. I haven't touched her. I'm very chaste. And, uh, after that, I'm going to open an arena and just host an arena for a little while. And that that's going to be the stream today. Let's try out the stage. I'm sure we'll see it tonight. I added it to the pool. So don't mind me if I'm a little slow. I'm posting stuff around a little bit. Three, two, one, go! Oh, this is strange for me as well because I have a... I have a delay when I'm recording from a console. So the audio is off sync for me. I do hear it. That is a wow. That's that's a lot of delay on uh, on her moves. I watched the presentation. I'm familiar with the gist of the character. She's a very strange control scheme, insofar as she does not have traditional specials. The special button controls her other arm. I'm not anticipating winning this. I left it at a uh, level 9 computer. I'm still trying to figure things out. So, down B changes arms. One of the arms. Okay. So now I have the big slow one out. It's hard. And that goes to the dragon. Oh, I started with the I started with the chakram one. It's a good range for an up tilt. I'm curious if the up special has any utility as an upwards attack. It sounded like it didn't really from the presentation. Mr. Sakurai claimed the uh, opposite. Okay, that... Wow, that didn't even... Okay, he had his uh, Electro Shocker. That's why that didn't stun him. That is real slow, the... I don't even remember the name of it, the big bruiser arm. So what else does he have? She has traditional smash attacks. Alright, her upbeat on stage is a spring bounce, which does not seem to have a lot of utility. Definitely does hit hard with the uh, with the big meaty one. I kinda get the impression that this will be like a like a Pokemon trainer thing. Where people tend to stick with the stick with the the chakram until they get to kill percents and then swap to the the big fella. I guess say so far she doesn't feel like a super dynamic character, which arms isn't really. I want to say not that that dynamic of a game. 
And so far, oh, I mean, it's, it's the two arms. You have two attacks. I haven't grabbed yet. Her down throw gives her, like, a... Like a power-up to the dragon arm, which I think is the A. Oh, here's something I haven't tried. I haven't tried the laser yet. There we go. Hey, I got a laser kill. Alright. It does... She takes some getting used to, as peop I've heard people saying. She plays very differently from other characters. I don't know if she's going to be for me. I wonder if anyone's clicked with her immediately yet. But, I'll try her a few more times. Alright, online arena. Real quick, this is my, uh... Hello, Muff. Damn it. This is my, uh, my personal account. My personal profile, separate from the one that uh, I usually play with Jack on. So this doesn't have... I think I finished World of Light on it, but it's, it doesn't have all the spirits. It doesn't have a lot of stuff on it. Uh, go to public... Friendly's rule set, which does include some non-tournament stages. It's similar to a uh, Wickersham's stage list. It's got a couple that are a, li a little more varied, just for fun, but nothing too insane. We'll increase that. Uh, I guess eight is fine. I don't. I don't like arenas getting too too big, but maybe we'll have a lot of people today. So. Password. Alright. It's been long enough since I hosted an arena. It doesn't remember the arena name. I'll give her a shot. I'll start with Min Min for a little while. Show her off. Mmm, load them JPEGs. And PNGs. Ooh, black. Show the arena, and I will update the, uh, the bot, because I have an ID command. So, feel free to hop in. Arena ID is 5KQ06. There we go. Alright, exclamation ID should be working now. There we go. Hello, Nick. Wickersham trying out the new Diddy. Uh, so you think Diddy got nerfed more than buffed. Right? I mean, I, I can definitely see that with the shadow nerf that happened to the... the bananas. They did not mention in the patch notes that uh, bananas now disappear after being stepped on once, which is very bad for Diddy. I don't know why I did that. Honestly, it would be I think it'd be more useful if the up B was still just the the regular one on stage, the tether grab. Then you could at least use it above you more reliably. As of now, you just you kinda have to jump first. Aw, oh, that didn't hit.
Yeah, people were people were freaking out about this character's range. I don't think it's that much of an issue just because it is so slow to do anything with her. It's much like arms. There's a very long time before she can do anything again once she commits to having the arm out. Oh, that's right, she's got a nice, speedy, low-profile down smash, at least. Up smash is the reflect, which I haven't really used at all yet. That's also got some height. That goes surprisingly high for just a kick. It looks like it's higher than the, than the character release trailer. Maybe I'm misremembering. Uh-oh, there I go. That does hit very hard. Well, okay, no, it doesn't necessarily disappear after one one contact. At least not if it's thrown at someone, after one, uh, one trip, I suppose. Was it always like that, though? Nick knows Diddy Kong way better than I do. Uh-oh! Damn it. Oh, that was a good spike. Go on, get the banana. I dare you. You got the banana. I'm not using the laser at all. I like it, the laser. It's a good laser. Oh, that's right, I can I can aim it too. Oh, just short. You're, you're stalled a little longer using the laser, though. She seems like a very linear character. There doesn't seem like a whole lot of ways to play her. I'm probably going to eat those words. Like, give it a few months, people are going to find out she's actually super technical. And I just don't know shit, which is entirely possible. There I go. Uh, exclamation ID, Goji. Diddy got buffed overall. Well, that's good. In that case, I don't think anyone was, uh... When you throw it on a platform and hit someone, it disappears. Here, I will, uh, I'll let you guys in. That's good. I, th I thought they made it so that it disappeared faster just overall. Although, in that case, it is a little bit odd that Diddy was one of the ones chosen for buffs. Because he was considered, like, mid to high mid most of the time, right? He, he's a little strange of a choice, and Falco is a little bit strange of a choice. Everyone else was pretty widely agreed to be low tier. I'm glad Incineroar got buffs. Corrin got some good buffs. Well, good, I don't know if they're good buffs, but they got buffs. DDD. Kirby. Widely agreed Kirby needed some changes. We'll have to see if any of these helped any of them, but... Incineroar is a strange one, because his main issue has been movement speed. He's got a lot of great moves, he's got good frame data for a lot of his moves. He's just too slow to do anything with them. And what they did with him was they just made his 
They made some of his moves stronger, and especially his, his counter, which was one of his best moves already. Probably play some, I'll play some Incineroar work tonight. Play some D2D too. I'm sorry I'm not paying very close attention to this match. So Sonic, Sonic wasn't changed. Actually, I don't see Goji, I don't see Goji play Sonic very often. This is uh, new to me. Gojira and, uh, Gojira and Muff are both regulars of Wickersham's stream, which he streams Smash every Friday. And I usually go play on that for a bit as well. So go check him out. Probably most disappointingly. Ganon Ganondorf did not get touched. Little Mac did not get touched. No, that's not true. He got a better get-up attack. Very important. Very critical change for Little Mac. And uh, Doc did not get touched. Three of the characters who are widely considered to be close to the bottom of the barrel. Mac and Ganondorf mostly. But Doc's a little more controversial. But he's generally, he's not considered great, for the most part. Donkey Kong also did not get touched. K. Rule got some really nice buffs. Uh, Whipper's K. Rule is going to be scary now. The belly armor got buffed pretty substantially. It can now take a uh, Warlock Punch and not break. I think it can take 6% uh, more damage than it could before. Stronger up smash which is useful, and uh, the crown throw, the side B, has longer armor on it, which I noticed. I played some of the spirit matches, and I was I was having trouble hitting uh, K. Rule in frames that I would have otherwise been able to knock him out with Ganon. Hello, Andy Mari. I don't know if this is a person watching the stream, or maybe someone just wandered in. Either way, good to have you. Yeah, I'm aware Diddy had an infinite that they were trying they patched out with the the banana change. Cloud wasn't really changed, was he? Oh! Oh! Was he saved? No, he wasn't saved. There were just two clouds just wandered in. And I didn't even post the stream in the cloud court. And one of the guys is just a cloud, uh, cloud PFP, so maybe that doesn't mean anything. Oh no! Goji! one more min min and I think I'm gonna have to switch off for because I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, I'm not gonna be able to compete much with her here <laughs> uh, Wicker have you tried the 
the buffed K rule yet. Hello, Gleam. Oh, no, Cloud dies first. Does he always die first? It's so arbitrary which ones, which characters get to kill first and which ones don't. Krom dies first if he uses his suicide. Up B. Me, uh, me Brawler, Soaring Axe Kick, usually kills the opponent first, so that's a successful suicide move. Same for uh, Head on Assault is even more reliable. Thoughts on Min Min? She seems very linear. I don't see a whole lot of, like, inventive ways to use the character. And she also does seem very punishable. I think people were worried about nothing. In terms of, uh... In terms of her being, like, broken OP range. Uncounterable. I don't think that's a concern at all. It's also just kind of strange to control, as many people have said. I don't think she's for me. Well, I guess that works. I'll call that a win. It's a little odd to me the order the, the things come out. Like it goes from uh, heavy to medium to light. I would kind of expect it to go the other way. Low profile is going to be nice. Oh, that has no back hitbox. Uh oh! I'm dead. Okay, no, I'm fine. Sonic, you, you piece of shit. I think I like the laser more than the... more than the big thing. Get out of here. Go home with that shit. <laughs> oh! God damn it. I'm not very good at using both of the arms simultaneously. I say after calling her a not technical character. Hey, the one tech she has, I'm terrible at. Get out. Alright, what do I have? I have the... I have the, the... The big meaty thing out. I'm never gonna remember the name of this thing. What's the name of the big round one? Mega Y. That's it. Alright. You mind giving me a second to switch characters? I wonder if Andy Mari's probably not going to wait, though. Uh-oh. Where'd that person go? Where is he? Let's try new incinerator. Oh, he didn't wait. Well, I guess this is the view for the next several minutes. Andy's match will not be on stream. No, it's not your fault, Goji. Yeah, I don't think Andy is uh, watching this stream. Are they? Uh, are they Cloud? Or are they someone else? Hey, speaking of ramen, you guys familiar with my favorite ramen fighter ever? Wanze? That's right. He uses nose ramen. It's pretty cool. Them, them One Piece characters. 
very, very hip, cool ideas for fighters in One Piece. That was ramen. That's Bobo Bo. Bobo Bo isn't he is indeed a nose fighter. And that does sound like something that would be in Bobo Bo, Nose Ramen. To be fair, that was one of the strangest things in One Piece. It doesn't usually get quite that weird. What other images do I have? I got an images folder. I don't have a transparent version. Hello, Minnick. I recognize Minnick. Minnick, I think, is from Nick's streams. Sonic is currently losing. To who? Who is uh, who's Andy playing? This happened in Spyro. I've had some f I've had some uh, some cool moments playing Spyro reignited off stream. Ike Ike got buffs, kinda. People were people were freaking out because Ike got. Uh, some Nair tweaks. I think namely that the Nair does more knockback, which makes it harder to combo with. But, uh, he got... He got some buffs elsewhere. I think, uh, down tilt now combos into a lot of things. Up B, Aether got crazy buffed. Ike, Ike's Aether now kills at, like, 70 or 80. Depending on uh, the character and where you are on the stage. I think it kills middleweights at, like, 70. Which, for reference, Soaring Axe Kick on Brawler kills at, like, 130. It's nuts. 86 from mid-stage. Alright. Ike versus Nick Diddy. But dash attack. Uh, what about... Did, did Ike's dash attack get nerfed? Or buffed? Ike was also not considered, like, horrible. So that's another kind of outlier. Got the banana. There's nothing you can do. He's holding it hostage. I think Diddy can't spawn another one as long as there's a banana on the field. Even after the buff, there's really only one way to play Ike. And he's near the character. Impossible competition only with uh, Palutena, but Palutena has other uh, annoying aerials to use besides just the Nair. I 
I think they increased the... Some, they decreased vulnerability in Ike's up B in addition to buffing its damage. I don't know exactly how that did that. How they did that. I think they added extra armor. Like extra armor frames earlier in the start of the attack. So they can't be knocked out of it as easily. Oh! Oh, what was that? That that clanked? There he goes. Alright, 65-0. Not, not un insurmountable. Uh, Nick was trying to uh, jab lock there. Mm, oh, no. Okay, he's alive. There he goes. That's just his go-to kill move now. Over 80% use Aether. Which, I guess it's better that Ike is a two-move character instead of a one-move character. That's something, right? That's a strict upgrade. Speaking of one move, hey, if it works, it works. Oh, oh here's another interesting change. Marth had his uh, sweet spots increased on his aerials. Not all of his attacks, just the aerials. And then just uh, forward, back, and uh, up, not down air. But considering that was his main shortcoming was that his sweet spots were too small and uh, unreliable compared to Lucina's hitting everywhere. That's exactly the place to buff him, so I'm curious how much it's going to help him. Although, according, ap apparently, uh, Marth, the Marth-Lucina Discord had not found any, uh, any new combos or kill confirms. Martha's hella better. That's that's nice. I'm glad. I mean, the idea behind Marth is that he's a higher skill ceiling Lucina. Like, if you're precise with him... Then again, that's not... Like, s stronger attack and more uh, knockback isn't always... Isn't always great, especially when it comes to combo. Hey, good job, Nick! gonna see all the Lucinas switch to Marth. You really think so? Was it that significant? It's odd. It was such a complete 180 compared to Smash 4 where Marth was pretty universally considered the better of the two. I don't remember exactly what the Kirby buffs were. I know his dash attack is stronger at the start. I think some aerials got tweaked. Grow strong. Uh, I did not down B in time like I wanted to. It's alright. Incineroar can take some hits. I did that way too, too low. Aww. 
I'm an okay Incineroar. He's not he's not up to the level of my Ganon. But I like him. I, I'd consider him a top 10, maybe top 5 for me. In terms of how well I play him, not like a tier list. Too slow on that down smash. There we go. Get got, Diddy. Okay, that'll work. I'll oh, take it. Oh, I can't jump up into that at all. There I go. Get go! Oh, I didn't drag him down. Well, that didn't go well. I'm gonna swap. Let's try a different heavy. Let's see how Diddy does. There he is. There he is. All right. DDD was actually the only other character I had in Elite besides Ganon. Which I don't think is because I'm particularly amazing with DDD. I think people are just bad at dealing with him online. Things that were changed with DDD are some, uh, some damage buffs to aerials, which seems like a bizarre way to buff him, but I'll take it. Uh... Inhale comes out earlier, and it has a uh, bigger hitbox on the ground, a bigger wind box. It sucks in from further away. So, Minic, do you uh, do you play a lot of Gunner, or is this uh, just because of the? Marie skin? Is that the one? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't split. I didn't play Splatoon. I don't know that. I don't know which is which. I know people are having a people are having a laugh about the red one just being a fist fighter. That was a that was a lucky save. I mean, it was a lucky hit to begin with, so I guess that cancels it out. There are some people who are mad that this stage is not going to be legal because of the ceiling. Which, I, I kind of get the argument of, well, you should you should be careful about where you try to KO your opponent. But at the same time, the counterpoint is that, A, it's a lot like the argument for why Marth has had trouble up until now. Is that it's just... There's so many variables, it's not precise enough that you can reasonably be expected to control which way your opponent gets launched in a game this chaotic. And also, it's, uh, it's like disproportionately horrible for characters who, uh, KO upwards. Like, Jigglypuff is gonna lose half of her rest KOs because of this ceiling. Brawler's gonna lose a bunch of thru uh, thrust uppercut opportunities. Mewtwo has a up uh, kill up throw. Which is always what the counterpick stages come, come down to. It's not that a stage can't benefit a character. It's how strongly can they benefit a character. How much is too much of an, of an advantage? 
And this is a pretty big disadvantage for those upwards KO characters. I like it though. Rubes are cool. It's a fun it's a fun casual stage. Nothing too incredibly crazy. I would even be okay playing the the hazards on version, because the bounce pads look cool. Unfortunately, we cannot set that stage by stage. As much as I would like to. Minic holding his own. His or her. Little bit bizarre combination between the grenades and the flame pillar. It's not unheard of, though. Th this is the set to just trap people in shield forever. With the three explosive, with the two explosives and uh, flame shield, flame pillar. Not crazy about lunar launch. Generally, Arm Rocket is considered the the best of the gunner recoveries by a fair margin. Just because you get no horizontal momentum with Lunar Launch. So is that a... that's a modified Marie. That's not like the official Nintendo one. Because the face is a little different, and Nintendo doesn't like to use... Uh, Nintendo doesn't like to use parts for anything but their explicitly intended purposes. Like, they, they won't put a mustache between the eyes to simulate the mask. They used to upload their official, uh... Their official Miis for Mii costume characters. I don't know if they're still doing that or not. So I'm gonna guess that's not gonna be a uh, that's not gonna be a stage in your list, Wickersham, for your streams. It's fine just for for this week, just to try it out because it's new. But yeah, I, I can see how people wouldn't like it going into the future. It's a problem if I play Diddy. Yeah, did Diddy is a Diddy is a top KO candidate. Isabel got buffs. Isabel and Villager both. Villager actually got uh, some invulner invincibility frames on his uh, up tilt. Poor Isabel just had to settle for reduced vulnerability. Whatever that means. I think it's uh, less less end lag or something. Nintendo patch notes don't use the same language that uh, actual players do, which can be a bit frustrating. It always ends up needing to be uh, needing to be translated by someone. I obviously f first into English and then into actual the terms that everybody who's not Nintendo uses. Ooh, there's some slowdown. There's a little bit of chugging going on. Where are you going? Why why'd you go all the, all the way out there, Minic? What's going on? Yay. No? You don't want to fight Isabel? Isabel oh, okay, I guess Isabel wins. The lag didn't look great. Rocking that uh, buffed getup attack. Three, two, what was even changed one, about it? Is it like, uh, is it faster? Like a frame or two? Some of the characters in the patch notes mentioned uh, getup attacks being more in line with other characters, which I, I don't know if there were like a few of them 
who were just like a frame faster or slower or something. Oh, this is gonna be like this. The woes of playing Little Mac. This Isabel knows platform camping. The forbidden secret technique. That's okay. Goji's got the power, he can do it. Oh, oh, now she's fine because she's Isabel. She has her balloons. And now she's going to wait. Bizarre character designs. I'm trying to make like a like a trapper in Smash Brothers. So I guess that's pretty much Max only two framing option is the down tilt, isn't it? Or maybe that's just Goji's preferred one. I see I see him doing that a lot. Because obviously Matt cannot pursue off stage. Showing off them Mac aerials. I wonder who sings these, these persona songs. Sega Sega tends to get ambitious with its music. I was happy when uh, WarioWare, I think WarioWare Gold started using uh, Funimation actors for its voices. Because historically, for the longest time, Nintendo has not had the best voice acting in some of its games. There she goes. Wow, three stock, good job. Except for Wario. Yeah, Wario is still Charles. As always. Alright, back to Andy. Andy versus Goji. We didn't get to see this last time. No longer tied down by Sonic. Now free to experience the true speed of Little Mac. Ready? Burger King foot lettuce. Is, is, this, is this the Isabel? Hello, welcome to the stream. How's it, uh, how's it going, Gleam? She's very awkward to control, right, Min Min? She takes a lot of getting used to. Oh no, Mac got a, an, a Final Destination-like. That's, uh, that's not good for Meta Knight. Actually, I think this is uh, this is smaller than Final Destination. Oh, I didn't know Mac could ball jump. Not enough close range options makes it weird. I don't think I even tried her down tilt. It's wider than FD. Okay, I'm I'm just I'm full of shit. Okay, this is still close so far. Maybe Max still downloading. The side and top blast zones especially. I know there are blast zone differences in this, and uh Wario Wake WarioWare infamously. What's the case with WarioWare? It has the the side blast zones are extremely close, right? I know it's infamous for its small blast zones, which otherwise might make it an interesting stage. Mm. 
just do the platform layout. A pretty solid Meta Knight. I forget, I think Meta Knight got a couple buffs, didn't he? You know what? I'm gonna pull out I'm gonna pull up the patch notes, because I'm I'm forgetting everything. We fit trainer got buffs. I don't know anyone who plays her aside from uh, Bacon Bomb. But uh that's good it's good for her, I guess. Captain Falcon got buffs. Which I don't play him that much. But that's cool. I like it. I'm down for Falcon buffs. Mewtwo got buffs. Mewtwo was in good need of it. Uh yes, Meta Knight did get buffs. Increased attack range of Nair. Easier to hit multiple times. Forward air. Back air, easier to hit multiple times. Oh, Mac pulled it back. I'm, I'm sorry, I should have been paying attention to the cool hat trick. Up special made it easier to uh, link the two hits, which I've seen complaints about recently. I know that was a... Uh, that was something people thought held Meta, Meta Knight back a bit. A lot of uh, a lot of multi-hit attacks not connecting very reliably is a common complaint about characters in this game. Ganon's Nair is something people complain about that with. Me Brawler's uh, forward air. Pit and Dark Pit buffs. There's the Ike buffs, Diddy Kong. Dedede got uh, up tilt buffs. Forward air, increased knockback, up air, increased knockback. Mega Man. Vulnerability for breaking falls forward and backward now aligns with other fighters. Okay, what you mean to say is tech rolls, Nintendo, but I will forgive you. I wonder what Mega Man's tech rolls were like, if they were too fast or too slow or something? Bowser, infamously, has very slow, very vulnerable tech rolls, and I believe a ledge roll as well. Another three stock from Goji. I blinked and missed it. Corrin and Bayonetta buffs. I'm sure were appreciated. Piranha Plant did get buffs. Increased attack speed on several attacks. All right, let's try out the king. Ready? <clears throat> I'm not too hopeful about this, but let's let's see how this goes. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to use. Oh, I should have held it a little longer. Uh-oh. No, please. At the very least, DDD is the best punching bag in the game. Ah, I should have held it. That's death. Held that. I don't know why I never expect him to counter. It's not like Mac has all that many options to choose from.
Get out. If I get him once with that, he's fucked. He's not gonna let me do it, though. He's smarter than that. Oh, why'd you face that way, DDD? Oh, no. Oh, no. Still alive. Good punching bag. King of taking hits. Get out of here. Go home. Get yes! Got him. <laughs> that didn't work. That also did not work. Star was not in range to hit him. He's not going to let me get it at all. Oh no, I get hit by the better get-up attack. Damn it. I'm a little too prone to spot dodging. There are, in fact, no microtransactions in, in Crash 4. Well, that's good to know. Heard, uh, heard mention that there would be in-game purchases. Let's talk about something completely different from Smash. But, uh, yeah, news of Crash 4 is trickling out. I'm cautiously optimistic about the game. It does look from the trailer we got that it does try it is trying to focus on uh, traditional crash gameplay for the most part I saw lots of platforming lots of what looked like uh, crash one to three levels in terms of you know level design and style also kind of kind of tongue-in-cheek self-referential humor which isn't necessarily what the original crashes were about a little bit slapstick, a little bit situational. It did... Most of what Crash did in terms of humor was non-verbal, which is, I think, the main difference between early Crash and later Crashes. So I'm a little worried it might come off as kind of kind of hammy, kind of forced the writing in the new game, but, uh... Oh! Okay, he survived it. We'll see. A hundred plus levels confirmed, which has me a little worried they might focus more on uh, quantity than quality. Because the original Crash games had, like, 30 to 40 levels each. More isn't always better. Between that and in-game purchases, I'm a little worried, but I'll, I'll... I'm still planning to get it... Probably day one. Unless something rears its head that's, like, really a huge red flag. That's that's gonna be... That's definitely gonna be something I'm, try, I'm gonna try to stream. Also, unless it's PS4 exclusive, because in that case... Yeah, I'm, I'm not buying a, a $600 console, whatever it costs, for one game. the smash attack go a little too early.
Donkey Kong could platform camp, but he does not have a stock lead, so uh, if he ran the timer out, he would lose. Oh! That was, that was unnecessary. That was mean-spirited. Going for the show-off play. I kid. I jest. I should have just platform camped the whole time. That's right, then nobody wins. It's like flipping over the chessboard. Pretty much unlocked everything in episode one racer yesterday in one sitting. I'm, I'm hearing people are doing that. It makes me mad because I couldn't get past that one stupid level. I've tried that before with uh, Brawler and a head-on assault. Usually it fucks me. Usually I'm not quite good enough to do it reliably. Three, two, one, go! Uh, Goji. Darian Belmont Slayer here is the fella from my Discord who is the big uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom fan. Also the big Castlevania fan. I've kind of ended up acting, acting as proxy between the two of you now and again. Dominic the Ryu, the Ryu player, and Andy now using Min Min. I think this is the first Min Min besides me we've seen on stream. she doing about as expected for someone playing a character for the basically first time. Patch came out at uh, 6 p.m. Pacific last night. So it has been out for... Oh god, math. 19 hours now. Again, I have not I've not played the game in that time. I stayed min min chased until this stream. Oh, she's got a she's got a fiery chakra. How do you do that? Is that the down throw upgrade? Or is that just a what a fully smashed chakra looks like? Ramen wins. <laughs> I mean, at least Kid Me was on point with, you know, Bullseye being a, a good character. Maybe not the, the best, best of all, but... I guess I just needed to get good. Then again, I'm playing. I was playing the Nintendo 64 Episode One Racer, versus uh, everyone else is now playing the remaster, and I don't know if there are any differences or not in that. Uh oh! Thank you. You saved me. Holy shit! Oh no! Well, hmm. That's, uh, that's mid-min ledge guarding. 19 hours was enough for this person. Gordo's perhaps not the best thing to counter a zoner with. ain't looking good for me. That wasn't the way I wanted to do that.
Could I at least get one stock? That'd be nice. Ah! No, I can't, is the answer. Alright. Time for the big guns. If you would be so kind as to allow me to switch again. I don't know if Andy's here. Else we may have to, uh... Nope. Okay. I'll watch I'll watch half the match and then I'll back out and swap characters. Yeah, I need to pull out the door if I need to take my room back. Hmm, this doesn't seem like an amazing stage for Min Min, but Oh, that's right, she can like uh, she can kinda walk and fire her tilts. I unlocked Ben, I realized how stupid OP he is. Like, Sebulba is the super secret unlockable character, right? Not not Ben. Ben is the big wide-faced fella. Who I know has, like, the highest top speed stat, so, like, speedrunners use him. Or the people use him to get the best times in Episode 1 Racer. That ledge guarding is Min Min is real nasty. Once you unlock Sebulba, you still have those four extra hard tracks. Oh, you don't even need to, uh, you don't need to do the final circuit for Sebulba. kind of sad we couldn't get the Steam version of Pod Racer working now. And we had to go with the N64. It just, it wouldn't recognize my controller. So I, uh, I bought it on Steam, but I was not able to play it. I had to refund it. Hey, uh, Sebulba for Smash? How about Watto? I'm in the new Nintendo game, the Smash game. We go and we smash, okay? So Bulba and Ben have equal top speed stats, but Ben has the best overall stats. Huh, interesting. It's just... These are two characters that don't really want to approach one another. I say that, they're doing okay. Isabel actually has a little bit of a lead for now. Andy is very impressive with Min Min, considering it's been less than 24 hours. It's a new Smash record! That still sound, the announcer sounds so uh, rip-torn. Rest in peace. I never did find out if, uh, if they got the announcers from the movies. Or from the movie. Uh-oh. Oh, no! They're so close. They're both 60%. And it's gonna end like this? Well, oh, I forgot to change characters anyway. Shoot. What? Well, okay. So Isabel disconnected. Intentionally or not, we don't know, but uh, I don't know why she would. That was very close. She had a perfectly good chance of that. 
I will attempt to change. No, they started without me. Rip. Okay, she's back. Oh. Okay, good. They, uh, they canceled the match. Uh... I, 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 no, I guess not. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's why Pete someone was uh, saying her model doesn't match her render. That's why they were mad. Is the... The model has the dragon arm. Where the arm itself, the springy part, is like a, like a dragon's body, but in game it's it's just noodles. She has the noodle arms for everything. They actually got a lot of the OG cast from Phantom Menace to voice in Episode One Racer. Okay, because I knew the one of the Pod Racer announcers was Greg Sipes. Is that his last name? It's Greg from uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway? Someone, a character whose, like, primary strength is edge guarding is not good for Mac. He's already basically dead if he goes off stage, but against her, there's just, there's nothing. Greg Proops. <laughs> Proops. Mm, it's hard to watch. Poor, no, poor Mac! Oh, there was no chance! Oh, her outfit actually changes. Like, it's not just, uh, it's not just colors. She's got, like, uh, shorts on in that alt. D-Man, that sounds familiar. Might be his new worst matchup. I, I can believe it. Who do you think was his, uh, worst matchup before? Like, I guess they were probably mostly ledge guarding characters. I imagine Gunner couldn't have been fun. Three, two, one, so if I remember correctly, go! Gunner's grenades, if executed perfectly in just the right spot, are more or less a perfect ledge guard. Like, they cover all options. Are the... Are the, like, space tube tracks... Do they seem any any better than the version I played? I guess it, it would be hard for you to tell, not having played the N64 version. I had a lot of, I had a lot of trouble on those. It seemed so arbitrary when I would just hit a rock and die instantly. As you saw in the Episode 1 Racer stream. Pika and Rob are atrocious. Pika just Pika just wins against everybody. By far, as a Ganon and Bowser, Pika just is is the worst for me. And unfortunately, one of the best guys in my region is a Pika. So on one hand, I kinda wanna like get a result or two, so I can have some street cred and Ganon cord. But I'm, I'm afraid to, because one of the best guys is a Pika. I don't, don't want to fight a Pika as Ganon. Although I guess if my alternative is Bowser, it's not that, it's a little better. It's not that much better. What, uh, what version did you have as a kid, Darian, of uh, Episode 1 Racer? Mm. Yep, 
Yeah, I, I, I can understand people's fears that a good Min Min is not fun to play against. That, that seems to be correct. There was only PC and N64. Okay. I know there are moves that can beat out her, uh, beat out her fists, including a uh, Brawler Nair is strong enough. I think a l most of Gunner's projectiles, because she has some of the stronger hitting projectiles in the game. But the fact that she can do two of them in quick succession kind of trumps that, it seems like. Like, I, I don't know if beating out the fists is necessarily going to work against an optimally, optimally played Min Min. That remains to be seen. This guy could do it, though. He's, he's got Min Min on the ropes. He's up to 100, which you don't want to be at 100 against Bowser. There she goes. Nope, still alive. Oh, is that it? That's it. Good job, Mr. Bauer. Nice to see a fellow Bauer in the room. Alright, Bowser versus Ryu. When uh, people were waiting for English versions of the 8.0 patch notes, someone circulated a uh, someone circulated the 2.0 patch notes, but with the, ch the the title changed to 8.0, so that confused a lot of people. Two 2.0 had. Uh, 2.0 had Bowser getting some buffs. Which, it's kind of sad that, uh... There was a patch where Bowser got... Bowser, of all heavies, got some pretty decent buffs. And Ganondorf has not effectively been touched since the game's launch. He got one down smash consistency buff at one point. That was that was that was it. Basically all he's ever gotten. This Bowser likes his uh, likes his down beat. That's not a not a very popular move amongst Bowsers, which I think is a consistency issue. But uh, I like it. But I don't claim to be a role model for other Bowsers. Almost. I wanted to see that shield break. Sorry. I'm a fair and impartial viewer. A martial artist can definitely defeat a dragon. The team that did the remaster of Episode 1 Racer is called Aspir. 
and doing ports of other Star Wars games. Hopefully they end up doing Rogue Squadron. You know, Episode 1 Racer is the only Star Wars anything that I've ever really liked. I don't know why I had it as a kid. I don't think I went out of my way to get it, so it must have been a gift or something. I did enjoy it, though. It was like a very proto F-Zero. I mean, F-Zero came first. It was a very F-Zero-like game, and I liked F-Zero. So, independent of it being a Star Wars game. I don't, I'm not interested enough in the Star Wars, like, lore to really seek out other, other Star Wars games, though. I know Rogue Squadron is a very popular one. A lot of people grew up with it. Jack talks about it a lot. So if, uh, if they did port it, I'm sure he would want to stream it. Another win for the Bower. Who's next? Oh, I'm next. Alright. Heavyweight battle. Let's do it. Ganon is just as good a heavy as Bowser. Right? Actually, amazingly, this is not one of Ganon's worst matchups. Some would even argue it's even. Shielding won't help you against me. I got a command grab. And a sword! Ow. Get out. Oh no! We made it back! That's okay, I made it back. I've, that's the, I think that's the first time on stream anyone has ever mashed out of my Ganon side. Good job! Oh, there I go. That bear is deadly. Oh no. A Bowser nared a uh, upbeat out of shield? It's crazy! There we go. Good old Doria. So I cannot, uh, this guy knows how to mash, I cannot reliably gan inside him. I should not be doing the down tilt, I should be doing an instant dash attack. Except I'm not, good, not very good at that. No, you're not gonna, you're not gonna bear me. Cut that out. Uh, he's, he is gonna side B me. Oh, there we go! He did, in fact, bear me. Alright, this is close. This could go either way. I gotta, I gotta figure out that instant dash attack. That's supposedly his best, uh, his generally best option after a uh, non teched flame choke. Side B. Oh no! Is that it for me? Oh, the bear! Okay, he got me. Good job. Good match, Mr. Bowser. You win. That was close. I had fun. Someone's got to move this bower. We got to have a bower movement. Mr. Doug Bowser. We gotta remove him from power. Fortunately, the guys have some good, uh... 
the Wickersham guys have some Bowser experience, because I play Bowser quite often. There's no shortage of Bowser or Ganon experience. Or Donkey Kong. Or K. Rule. A lot of heavy players among the Wickersham crew. Ooh, that was a that was a big range on that uh, that headbutt. Ooh, oh, we got the spike off. Not often you see that. Mm. Mixed it up well enough. Also, he's, he's been teching very reliably. Not, not the flame choke, but he techs every stage spike. Hope he knows you can tech the flame choke. This is good Bowser. I like this guy. Maybe he's from Bowser Court. I posted in Bowser Court. Smash armor. That's it. That's it. Oh no! That was not the right thing to do. Well, GG. Good effort. Persona 3 music. Oh, Darian is a Persona fan. Or at least is familiar with Persona music. What, uh, what kind of fighting games you play, Mr. Darian? I know you're, uh... Probably the only consoles you have are PlayStation, right? So, like, uh... Soul Calibur? Marvel vs. Capcom? I'm guessing? I played Marvel vs. Capcom 3, minus the DLC. I did not play Ultimate MVC 3. So I never got to play Phoenix Wright. Ooh. Game & Watch is generally considered a good secondary for Bowser, as he covers some of his bad matchups. Even then, Bowser does not have any unwin unwinnable matchups. And there he goes. Like, Pikachu and Greninja are considered some of his worst. <clears throat> Even then. Honestly, for competitive, I've considered going just solo Bowser. I just don't think I'm quite up to the level with my Bowser that I am with my Ganondorf. It's close, I'm getting there, but... smash. Unfortunately, he is Bower, and he lived long time. Mm. Oh, it hurts to watch. This Game & Watch has no weight on him. Just the, just this Game & Watch. Other Game & Watches are very hefty. I say jokingly, he's a very light character. He has no, no body weight, only two dimensions. Play a wide array favors a Street Fighter and Tekken. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I really, o I really only play Smash because of the the platforming element. Rest in peace. Rest in pixels. I got uh, Rivals of Aether because it was on sale recently. 50% off on Steam. And Jack's been bugging me to play that, so, uh... I don't know when. We'll probably do a stream of it. See how that goes. <clears throat> so I know you don't play Smash. Are there any, uh... Any characters, fighting game or otherwise, you think would be cool to see in Smash as a spectator? Because the fighting game... 
reps we've gotten are uh, Ryu and Ken. We got Terry Bogard from King of Fighters and Fatal Fury. I guess those are the main fighting game ones. Heiachi is a me costume. So we don't have a we don't have a playable Tekken character or a Soul Calibur. I think Soul Calibur would be cool. See a nightmare as a Smash character. Mortal Kombat is something a lot of people request. It hasn't happened yet in any form in Smash. If I ever get Smash, you know who my first character is gonna be. Oh, for sure. The Belmonts are very, uh, they're very slow, projectile-heavy characters. Their design is pretty much keep away. They rack up damage from afar, and then punish approaches with the whip. I can't wait for Goji to, uh, correct me. Which maybe he will. He has far more authority on the Belmonts than I do. Able sisters watching. They're not good at getting back to stage. The Belmont struggle with that. I would not be surprised at all if Scorpion was uh, one of the coming upcoming fighters. People think he wouldn't work because you know, oh, Mortal Kombat's so violent you have to tone him down so much. But I don't think. That's a concern. Bayonetta's a game all about sex, and she's in the game. With a breast for her sip for her symbol, no less. And music tracks that repeatedly use the word climax. Oh, the two frame! Also, Ridley just fucking impaling people on his tail. Yeah, they would add... Oh, hey, Trog. See, Trog joined the room. They could absolutely add Scorpion and just have him... Uh... Like, what are his signatures? He... Does he do the fire breath, or is that someone else? Like, he just needs the fire breath move, and he needs the... The get over here. The grappling. And just, they just make that a move and just make it bloodless. It's fine. Three, two, one, go. I wouldn't be surprised at Scorpion. I am expecting Crash. He's the one I am most confident is one of the remaining fighters. Because he's such a huge, iconic part of gaming. He was the face of Sony for a long time. got a lot of history. His games never really stopped being made. They kind of, they weren't looked upon fondly for a while. But he's made a resurgence. He's relevant again. He's got a new game coming out. He's good advertising. And he's popular both in the West and in Japan. No, you don't want to use Dare like that. Which Spyro sadly does not have going for him. Spyro crashed and burned hard in Japan with his original games. I'm curious how Reignited did in Japan. I don't know about that. Maybe Spyro's redeemed himself. I'd be happy if he did in Japan, because a large part of his reception in Japan, I think, was because of all the changes made to the games, which just really just fucked up the Japanese versions. They were unplayable. I think Crash is one of the most likely. Uh, I would not be surprised at all by Doom Guy. Or even Master Chief, honestly. People think, oh, we've got a Microsoft rep already, so uh, Master Chief for Steve can't happen. I, I don't think that's anything. We could have more reps from the same company. But Sega's got several between uh, Sonic and Bayonetta is a subsidiary, and now Persona is also a Sega subsidiary. I 
I think the one, the top three I would be least surprised with are uh, Crash, Doom Guy, and Scorpion. Then again, Japanese developers get a lot of priority when it comes to Smash characters, as we've seen with like the history of them. Those who get picked. If this Bowser stays in too much longer and is just not being defeated by anyone. Then uh, we might instate. I might ask him to swap out, give other people a chance to play. Which is a rule in, uh, in Nyx. Because otherwise... Get out of here. Yes! He didn't tech it that time. Otherwise, someone can just dominate for, like, an hour. Oh! Oh, no, that actually didn't save me. That killed me. Otherwise, someone can just dominate for an hour and no one gets to play and everyone gets frustrated and leaves and it's, it's very... It's not fun for anyone. He just... He can't check that flame choke. Oh, that was so close. I wanted that spike bad. I want it bad, you hear me? You're gonna give me that spike, Bauer. Doug Bauer, I'm coming for you. All right, I'm done. I had my fun. I don't even know who that was supposed to be. It was just a fun voice to do. That was not well, That was not a good thing to do. Yep, get up, attack. You are predictable. Ooh. Come here, come closer. No, oh, that's it for me. What would G I don't even know what Ganondorf's safest option on shield is, to be honest. Sixty percent. That's not great, but it's manageable. I just I can't attack him on shield because he's Bowser. That's it. Yes. No. Okay, I'm fine. Sorry, that was way too loud. Mm. Not quite fast enough. I really thought I, my armor didn't come out fast enough. I'm not gonna come near you. I'm at 150%. I'll wait it out. That was... <laughs> a little bit late trying to tech the ceiling there. Alright, you know what? I gotta fight Bower with Bower. Okay, give me a sec, if you would. I, I would like to change my character, please. I'm having good matches against this Bower. But I gotta try something other than Dorf. Uh, if he goes through another full cycle, then I will uh, instate. Oh, no, he, ba he backed out. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Bowser. That was nice of you. Who would be a good Zelda rep if we got another one? I say Tingle. Because he's had two of his own video games. But, aside from him, my number... My, either him or Classic Ganon. Which I know is, you know, another form of a character. We've got three Links, two Zeldas in the game. But OG Pig Ganon would be cool. We don't have a large body with a blade weapon. The only large body heavy character with a melee weapon at all we have is Dedede. And he has his big, slow, clunky hammer. I want to see a big fat guy with a fast spear sword thing. And Ganon has his trident. And he's got magic, so people would finally shut up about Ganondorf not having magic. You know, he doesn't use it in most of his boss fights in the games. 
Uh, type exclamation ID, Sky, Sandy, Lania, person. Fan favorite would be Skull Kid. Yeah, probably. He's, I would say, the probably most, uh, most requested Zelda character. Kind of hard to gauge his moveset. They would almost have to uh, draw from Hyrule Warriors. And that's a stretch because it's, that's not a game they like to acknowledge. Nintendo hates to acknowledge any game from one of their IPs that they didn't make. Mario characters don't take anything or acknowledge the Mario RPGs. Because those weren't made by Nintendo's EAD studio. Zelda, nothing Zelda ever references Hyrule Warriors. It is not, not acknowledged in any way. The closest thing we have to any kind of Mario RPG reference in a moveset is Piranha Plant with the poison. That uses a Paper Mario color scheme and kind of a Paper Mario move. Because they breed poison in Paper Mario. And... That's really just because they had not, that's all they had to draw from for Piranha Plant. They had to draw from every possible source for a moveset. I wish they acknowledged they would acknowledge those kinds of games more. There's a lot of love put into them. The Mario RPGs and the... Hell, Hyrule Warriors puts more love into the Zelda franchise than, uh, well, than Smash does, for sure. Hey, good job, Trog. We don't see many plants. I'm... I don't know how, how apparent I've made this opinion on stream. I've said, I've said it before, but I am so disappointed with the costumes in Smash compared to the likes of Hyrule Warriors. Hyrule Warriors put so much love and detail into the alternates for characters. They have, uh... I mean, who played the game, so we have, we have footage of it. Ganon, Ganon has... He has Ocarina Ganon. He has Twilight Ganon. He has Wind Waker Ganon. He has all... The Hyrule Warriors Ganon. All with different colors. He's got so many different styles. Zelda has a Zelda from every game. She's got an Ilya costume. There's a Link costume for every game. It's so in-depth. And it's not even just, uh, it's not even just model changes. Like Wind Waker Ganon's robes move like robes do. They've got physics and everything. It's so much attention to detail. And Smash is just recolors. It's deviant art. I love the characters that have actual substantial alts in Smash. I love that Mario's got his builder outfit. And he's got his wedding outfit. Little Mac has a hoodie. The Inklings have actually fully different outfits. I'm disappointed there's not more of that. I want that for every character. At least one real alt for each character. What character do you say you see the least of in this game? The least picked? I don't play enough of it to really... Uh really know. I, most of it I played when uh, Jack lived with me. We, we played friendlies you know, almost every day at times. But I, I hardly ever play this game online, to be honest. The Miis tend to be pretty rare. They have a surge anytime a new popular costume comes out, but uh, otherwise, there aren't a whole lot of serious me players. We have a few of them who play on this stream. Like have more than one match in a row. I yeah, I, I get it, Nick. That's kind of just the frustration of uh, eight-player rooms. And I've thought about that. It, it does. I mean, it feels very unfair because 
the person who's winning is the one who's getting all the matches. Which also means they're getting the most practice. And I'd considered having, uh, I'd considered making the room, you know, the winner swaps out and the loser stays in. Unfortunately, that's, you know, exploitable. People could just start killing themselves to stay in the, in the arena. There's no really good solution. And it's only made worse when it's a big arena like this one with eight people. Because then you have such a long wait time before you get another match. Ideally, it would be very cool if uh, they allowed parallel matches to take place. Like, while these were happening, I don't know, you, you, you guys could be fighting. Or there could be multiple arenas going on. And the, uh, you know, in one room. And, you know, just the one that I, the streamer, was playing in would be the one being broadcast. There are a lot of ways they could improve arenas in Smash. I'm sad they haven't, really. Having multiple matches going on at the same time, and uh, being able to do things like change characters or music without losing your place in line. Those are my main complaints with Smash arenas. I don't know, what, who, what do you guys think are some of the least, some of the characters you see least often in this game? Plant is up there. I don't, re I really don't see a lot of plants. You know who I never see is Min Min's. It's like she hasn't even existed before today. Tons of people you can ask to play off stream with Nick in your server. I know. It's just annoying that you have this big room full of people. And it's a lot of just waiting and doing nothing while the matches happen. It could be improved. Especially since it's online and you don't have the limitation... Of uh, like if if it was a if it was a couch session you'd be limited because you only have one TV one Switch console. But because it's online, they really could have multiple matches going, you know, parallel to one another. There's no that's not a limitation with space or hardware. I don't see Wii Fit trainer, trainers. I wouldn't if I didn't know Bacon Bomb. He's the only one I know who plays her. She's also a, a I don't you're right though. I don't I don't hardly ever see her, especially online. The VAs for Ryu and Ken are Gohan and Dante. Does Kyle Hebert voice for you? If that's the case in Smash, I did actually forget that. I remember Darian and I recently looked up the Belmont's voice actors and were surprised at some of the other stuff they'd uh, they'd done. I don't remember who they are immediately. Duck hunts don't exist. I've run into duck hunts online on rare occasion. They are also pretty rare though. They're a very strange, janky character. An odd looking duck. Now, will my Bower last long enough to fight other Bower? If he is still Bower. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Simon is Keith Silverstein. Richter is David Vin Vincent, who is also Grim Grimjow from Bleach. Nope. No rapid jabs for you. Not on Bower. Uh, 
I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop that. I'm not gonna be bowering all day. Let's cut that out! Ah! Platform. That way, I should have. I should have forward smashed. No! Okay, I'm fine. I'm sorry. It was way too loud again. I only get loud playing Smash. not gonna kill oh I should have I should have mashed more I thought I had it cut that out Mac you piece of shit I'm a heavyweight you shouldn't even be fighting me why couldn't Bowser get the buff get up attack oh he survived that not gonna survive that I'm still at a bit of a disadvantage, 80%. Then again, I am Bower. I lied about stopping the Bower. It's Bower forever. No! No, sir. I should have seen that coming. I knew he was going to do that. Thought he was gonna thought he was gonna do it again. He did not, in fact. Come on! Yeah, get got! Good game, that was close. Where did you get Bower from? I people in in the Ganondorf Discord just like to be dumb. Sometimes Bowser Cord. Oh, hamster. I don't recognize that person, but it is another cloud. Unless it is one of the same clouds and has changed his name. It is, it is cloud. All cloud, all the time. Fortunately, I don't, I don't mind Cloud. Cloud's got a really bad recovery. If I get him off stage, he's not going to be happy. He's going to be a sad Cloud. There we go. I'm just glad he released shield at that particular time. Works out for me. You come here. I'm gonna stay over here. How about that? Ooh! Right into the F smash. B. Another side B? Never too many side Bs. Never too many side Bs, never too many up Bs. Oh no, he's fast enough. He got away from it. Oop, that got me. 
Perhaps I should have feared this cloud. There we go. All right, 33. I cannot suicide. We're at the same stock. Oh, no! Give me my faster getup attack. I need it. Max fine without it. Buff Bowser. Bowser low tier. He's awful. Needs lots of help. Oh, no! Woo! I'm dead. Damn it, Trog, you made me look at chat. Apparently you shouldn't take Bowser Juniors to this stage. It's considered in poor taste. Oh, you mean it's a counter pick. I could not last long enough to fight the other Bowser. Cloud wins, and his reward is another Bowser. Who else got buffed? I could try Captain Falcon. No, he switched to Ness. I'm not really any good with Falcon, but he is kind of fun to play. Three, two, one, go! at uh, Spyro Reignited Info. As I mentioned earlier, I was curious about how that did in Japan. Don't know if there's uh, info by country, though. Oh no! There goes Ness. No, doesn't seem to be any info I can find about how it performed in Japan. Google asks, is Spyro Japanese? No, he is not. Is Spyro a girl or boy? Spyro is a, is a boy. Is Ripto a dragon? Spyro and Cinder die? Oh no, that sounds like spoilers. Who was playing the Min Min? That was Andy. Is he, she, he, she still here? Oh, Ness wins. He's a good player, this uh, Bowser Ness fella. Ness wins. Uh, Dominic, are you still planning to play? 
because if you're not in the in the rotation, then uh, I'd ask you to leave the room so that more people uh, there's a spot for someone else to join. Like Sandy's been waiting. Ready? You still here, Sandy? so far. Nick usually doesn't. Well, sometimes he does. Not usually. I guess Sandy's not here anymore. Just keep backing up and hoping. Oh, no. He interrupted the headbutt. Scary looking nest. Oh no. I guess the lag was too much. I think Nick just decided not to play. Oh, whippers here. Well, since Dominic has not responded, I'm going to open up a slot. So if anyone has been waiting to join, you can now do so. I need to get the transparent Yoshi. I ain't got him. Just waiting for Ness and D-Man. I don't even know who D-Man's playing. And if he loses, we'll never find out. Hey, some people are spectating. Trog and Nick can see who he's playing. Who's D-Man playing, guys? Game and Watch. Okay. He's doing all right. He struggled against uh, Ness's Bowser. Give us commentary through chat. Uh, I'm glad you're here.
That's a big one. A big bucket? I guess there would be lots of buckets versus nests. Last stock. What'll happen? It's so exciting. Which token is gonna win? Nintendo, this is a problem with arenas. You should fix this. You should you should make it so that we can join the 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 the, the, the spectatorship at any time. Or just give us multiple matches to play. That'd be nice, too. Also, buff Ganondorf. Hello, Omni. Dunk-tastic. D-Man has discovered Game & Watch Up B. I think he knew pretty well about Game & Watch Up B. Used it lots in the last time Last time they fought, and it didn't, didn't go well for him. Then again, he didn't uh, didn't dare a lot. That's the that's the game and watch pub stomper combo. Is the up B dare? And it's over. It is done. And Trog gets to fight the scary Ness. So far, this player has been the one mostly dominating the room. This Ness for the win, fella. Ness, fuck the what? That's what I thought it was for the longest time. Because it was, you know, double WTF backwards. So I always read it as fuck the what? Until young Bab Zelrog learned what FTW meant. Oh. And he made it back. <clears throat> Can you take off a stock at least, Trog? Plant with its vulnerable recovery. It's not great against someone with a spike. You always play plant, Trog? He's got some hits in. He's, he's pulling it back. Ooh. Hey, got him. 50 0. That was, that was a comeback. That's not bad. I don't know how much time I want to spend off stage versus this Ness. With plant recovery. That spike, though. Go into the stage. It's the only hope. You gotta go to the other side, plant. Survived. Ness mixed the miss the bear. Dominic is back. Oh, well, that's that's fine. If they intend to play, that's fine. Welcome to the room. I just didn't want him taking up a spot in the in the stands. Is all. is in the stands. Oh, okay then. Rooting for you, Trog. Your token's the best. It's gonna win. He just really well he can go to TTV Fourth Seat Studios to watch. It's very convenient that we're streaming for that. Oh no! Go back, go back. God, I can't believe I can't even change the music without losing my place. I think I was in front of D-Man. I did lose my place. God damn it. Probably should have switched characters off Bowser anyway, but... I'll give Bowser another go. I haven't done any of my memes yet. I also have not unlocked 
the wall the waluigi cap it is hiding from me on this account i keep checking the shop and i've gotten everything but so i got my dumb waluigi me in a wario hat There should be a space now, if you would like to join Omni and are not in. It's an exclamation ID. Banjo and Kazooie increase the backward attack range of edge attack. Can, can Banjo edge? Like, uh, that, that's the get-up attack is what that means. The edge attack, right? Backward attack range. I mean, I don't know why one of those would even have a backwards attack range. Oh, the Spongebob music is here. Hey, Spongebob! I hear you're coming to Smash Brothers! That's a little more Homer than it is Patrick. Homer for Smash from Sim the hit game Simpsons Hit and Run. No idea why they buffed Ledge Attack for Banjo of all things. Was it already like pretty good or something? Or is it just another pointless thing to buff? Zero, zero, we broke even. Who gonna win? Ultimate battle between good and evil. Something, something, set ablaze like sandalwood. Shout out to the GT rap. Everyone's favorite English anime intro. Timeless, timeless GT rap. Almost as good as the One Piece rap. His name's Zolo. He's just like a samurai. And the L-A-D-Y Nami is not shy. Super armor and through that attack. Max a little bit higher, but that he's got he's got more kill power, and then that happens. I'm surprised Ness didn't go for any back throws, to be honest. That was close. Angry Mac claps, bruised and beaten. Oh, someone left. I guess he's tired of winning with Ness. Alright. Newly buffed K. Rule. Here we go. Oh, I really should have swapped back to Ganon. And I, I, can, I can Bowser, but I'm not as confident with him as I am with my Ganon. Tier placements aside. Man, that Ganon's ability to break K. Rool's armor. I, I want to say made K. Rool not one of Ganon's awful matchups. But now... I mean, he's still one of the highest attack power per hit characters, so... He's still going to be one of the best at it, but just... Bears. Like playing his banjo. Too bad no one likes playing against him. I don't. Don't worry about that. 
Nick plays banjo. K. Rule can indeed belly armor through a warlock punch now. I, I, I'm curious to see how much of a difference the, the belly armor change makes. Honestly, I don't break, uh, I don't break whip, Whipper's belly armor that often. He's a very skilled, very careful K. Rule. I'm more worried about the, the crown buff. About the increased armor on that. Because I think a lot of times that I would have had an opening now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get that. Oh, the clank. D-smash clank. A heavy armor on crown. I've seen that come into play just when I was playing a uh, single player. That seems more noticeable than the belly armor, even. Wicker just cannot get a single solid hit. He's at kill percentage. He just needs that one hit. Ow, oh, there it is. The scoop. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be root rooting for Wicker. D-man's the, D the underdog. Go game and watch. He's just, he's just doing the same thing over and over again, though. It's just the bear dare. The bear dare. I mean, up B dare. The up dare. And there it is. Rip. Nope, he missed the down, the down smash. Down air. I'll get the move right eventually. I just gotta go through all of them. Up smash is indeed stronger too. Which it was already not a useless move. It was a move, so... Oh, he's going for a suicide. I don't even know if his dare... I don't think his dare spikes like that. As far as I'm aware, Head on Assault is the only game that uh, has a continuous spike hitbox the whole way down. Well, no, that's not true. There's the... A lot of the up Bs do, of course. Infamously. Croms, Soaring Axe Kick, Clouds. Alright, here we go. Head on, head on Assault, definitely the most reliable of them, though. I had some success with Axe Kick on Nick's stream last time, so I'm trying that out on my knees for the time being. Oh, this again. That wasn't what I wanted to do. I just discovered a new, uh, a new tech with uh, Ganondorf versus K. Rule 2. So I re really wanted to, I really wanted to do my Ganon versus this, uh, this fella. No. You're going down. Crocodile man. There's only one true heaviest. No! No, get out of here. Oh, I actually wanted to... I wanted to go down and bear that. Just killed me. I just killed myself. I think I still had my other jump too. I just didn't use it. Well, all right, back again. Well, do I want to Ganon? Do I want to try my Mies for a little bit? I'll go Mies for a little bit. Hang tight, if you would allow me to change characters. It's a me. 
Morio. Introduction of Morio highlights just came out recently. We got a little five minute Smash highlights. I'm going through all our old uh, Smash streams of uh, me and Jack playing. It was a very short window that we actually tried to use uh, spirits because they sadly were not. Uh, we're not a very fun replacement for customs in 4, which we had a lot of fun with. A lot of shortcomings in the spirit system. That's alright, though. The, the regular competitive-esque footage is more interesting anyway. Boy, they sure added a lot of, uh, a lot of big, dumb, unblockable projectiles in this game. I mean, they're all blockable, but, uh... Patui, Shot Put, and K. Rule's Cannonball just feel like they go through everything. Okay, maybe not K. Rule's. K. Rule's can be stopped by some things. Very strong, heavy, annoying projectiles, though. Oh, he reflected the, the poison cloud. Oh, you like super armor, do you, K. Rule? Mm, right over the head. Oh, hey! Was that an up air? I've heard not so good things about plants up there. Seem to do the job okay there. I also realized, uh, me gunners down air is notoriously difficult to hit with. It has, the spike hitbox is so small that me gunners basically consider their character not to have a spike. And one of my first matches playing as me gunner, I, I landed two dare spikes. Granted, it was on Ridley, which is significantly less impressive, but it was still kind of funny. That's in the, the highlights video. And Whipper wins. Don't feel bad. Whipper is, Whipper is very good. He's a scary player. Welcome back, Darian. You just don't feel like playing today, Omni? I'm trying to use a... I want to use Suplex more as well with the Miis because it is such a good move, but... The recovery is so damn limited. Three, I'm playing a very risky, very not recommended moveset. Insofar as... Uh, it's, it's considered... Mandatory to have two recovery moves on me, Brawler, because his recovery is that bad. Even with them, it's not great, but. I'm kind of trying with one any anyway, which. Uh, one recovery me, Brawler, is like as bad as Doc or Little Mac. It really is like bottom, bottom of the barrel. I already played a lot earlier today. What, uh, I forget, where are you at, Omni? You've been like, you've been playing all night? Are you in the US? I know a lot of people were very excited. Uh, the Smash Cores were going nuts last night. Just before and shortly after the Min Min patch actually dropped. And now no one seems to want to play her. Everyone got their Min Min out. And they realized, oh, she controls very strangely and is very vulnerable. Maybe I'm not going to play Min Min. I 
I also like how Sakurai in the reveal trailer. Or the reveal demo footage, whatever. Said something along the lines of, uh... Oh, she'll, she'll be good against heavy characters, but she'll struggle against faster characters. Because that says nothing. That's every character in the game. Ooh, get the counter off. Oh, no! Okay, he made it back. For now, he's gonna get thrown, and that's not good. There goes Mac. Rest in peace. That was just unnecessary. There really is not a lot you can do against that, uh, against that suction from the front. You really have to go from overhead. Unless you're Ganondorf. Smash. Yeah, I didn't have a lot of options there. Mac looks like one of the characters who takes the losses hardest on the on the victory animation screens. Recovery is not the best for distance. Top secret, highly knowledgeable Smash information that you can only get on this stream. Wolf, Wolf's recovery does not go far. Don't tell anyone. It's a secret only I have discovered. Here's another uh, top secret bit of info. K rules recovery is exploitable from the sides. Unfortunately, because of Wolf's poor recovery distance, he cannot go very far off stage to pursue. So this does not help him greatly. This is probably not K rules worst matchup. I'm not knowledgeable enough to say it's a good matchup. Wolf being able to uh, blaster through this cannon suction is definitely good. Definitely better than any of Max options. Mac probably has, what, side B can go over the, the cannon? That's about it. Definitely doesn't have aerials. Oh. He's got quite a lead now. There he goes. He tried anyway. Sucked. Sucked and cucked. He's taking some damage. This could cut. He's pulling it back. Whipper could still do it. Wolf is being punished for approaching. I would say Whipper now has the advantage, given the character's weights. Oh, okay. 80% for Wolf. Is, uh bit more dangerous than 100% for uh, for K rule. This could go any way. Oh, the up smash did not it's sour spotted. Oh, 
Oh, the Nair. Is he going to make it back? This is extremely close. Where's he getting all those jumps from? He's, he is going to regret that, that dare. That was a bold fuck-around move. That was a Zelrog fuck-around. That was a, I've got a two-stock lead. Time to get cocky move. He, can, he just, he can't do anything when K. Rool's recovering. He can't punish at all. There he goes. That was a good effort. Hello, Drew. Welcome to the stream. My brain is only half on today. Well, that's a humble brag, isn't it? Hello, child85. Are you Drew? Oh, hello, that's the Ness for the win, fella. Welcome to the stream. I was having I was having fun with my Ganon versus your Bowser. Those were good matches. I never I didn't get to try the Bowser Ditto. Sadly I lost before then. Alright, D-Man has put away the game and watch. Trying out Wario, which is not not a super easy character to play. Ooh. I'm getting the impression that D-Man is on the newer side when it comes to players in this room. Nothing wrong with that. So, so far I've played Min Min twice and we had one other guy who played her and was way better than me. We had one person who played Min Min, I mean, very well for a brand new character. Just destroyed Mac with that ledge guarding. Is, is he just spamming up B? Is that his only move? I'm seeing a lot of up Bs and motorcycles. Which is comparable to my fuck around Wario. Is I would just throw motorcycles at Jack over and over again. Plot twist. Darian is D-Man. He's had a Nintendo Switch since release. Has been hiding his epic smash skill this entire time. Much epic. Wario's such a good sport. I mean, he's an asshole when he wins, but he's, he, look, look how happy he is to lose. Nope, someone else left. I guess, uh, what was the other guy? Dan? I guess he didn't want to wait. Does it count if he's always smiling? Ah, uh, sure. He's just, he's a happy guy. He's happy for everyone. He probably got paid a lot to be in this game. That's why he's so happy about it. Alright, here we go. I've had some limited limited success versus uh versus Whippers K rule as a me. Oh, that's not good. That's, yeah, that's death. This is, this is my no recovery me. I got rid of burning drop kick for suplex, and that was probably a mistake. 
I mean, it's definitely a mistake if you ask me, brawlers, but... I don't know, I had some naive hope that I could make it work. Just, you know, not, not fall off stage. Oh, that didn't hit! I don't detilt enough. Detilt combos into everything. Oh, that wasn't safe. That wasn't safe at all. I'm not hopeful about this. Well, maybe I can at least get one. I didn't time it right. Really wanted that two frame. That's gonna be death. That way, I just killed my. No, I'm fine. I, I survived. I'm alive. <laughs> nice hot death. Hey, I got one. Go me. Yeah, that was, that was a pun I did. It was wordplay. Because because me, I'm dead now. Bye. It was nice knowing you. Oh, fuck off with that. You're not gonna suck me. The old sucking cuck ain't gonna happen. Whoops! That wasn't what I wanted to do! Fuck off, K. Rule! Yeah, okay. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm fine with one stock, I guess. I'll be happy with it. I'm gonna try War Luigi. Give me, give me one second, please. My, maybe I said that too late because of the stream delay. Choose your fighter. Be roller. Ready? People are excited about the Cali and Mari skins. Although, gotta be honest. I think a Marino one would have outsold both of them. Three, two, one, go! People love that Marina for her uh, stellar character and her personality and nothing else. Ooh, B reverse cannon. Counter with the crown. Max got the crown, he's got a projectile! And he's dead. And he's gone. Let me just do a down tilt into a side B, into a forward smash, get you off the stage, and then you recovered back, you got me off the stage, and I'm gone. He's got the crown. Can he do anything with it? He's careful, but he did not hit the crown. That's okay. I, I have yet to hit Whipper off stage with his own crown either. Which I'm kind of sad by, because I considered myself pretty good with items. Oh, well, I got some extra damage in. I used to play a lot more Peach and Daisy. They're bullshit turnips. Not so much lately. I should pull out uh, Mega Man more. Maybe after I try uh, War Luigi. I'll pull out Daisy. Mega Man. Mega Man and Mario are characters that I'm okay with. Uh, th those three are actually, you know, pretty good characters, like high tier characters. Peach considered top tier even by some. I'm just not quite good enough with them to, you know, capitalize on that.
Bring your A game, Sandy. Goji and Whipper are in here and they're scary. Oh, the up smash! Well, you gotta stalk off. I'm glad they added K. Rule to the game. Between, I, it's kind of sad to realize, between the addition of K. Rule and Ridley, we're now only up to four just unapolo unapologetic villain characters. Like, ones that are still fully villains, not anti-heroes or anything. 4.5, if you count zero, if you count uh, Dark Samus. I guess Bowser Jr. counts. He's, he's consistently still a villain. He's not very intimidating, but he is... Like, he's never a good guy. Oh, I didn't finish him. Is this guy just here to be annoying? Is that his goal here? I mean, I'm, I'm a me, so I guess I can't talk. Come on, get out of here. What, your bike gone? That's too bad, Wario. Who isn't a good guy? Uh, Bowser is always the villain. I mean, not counting the RPGs, because Nintendo doesn't want to count the RPGs, ever. Even then, he's anti-hero. Bowser's kind of arguable, but he's still genuinely... Bowser's a bad guy. Ganon's always a bad guy. Ridley. And, uh, Ridley and K. Rule. Bowser Jr., as opposed to, like, uh, DDD, who's become more of an anti-hero. Meta Knight. I guess Wolf. Wolf is probably on, like, Fox's side for some engagements, right? Depending on... He's just a mercenary. It's just whatever his interest at the time is. I like a good balance of, uh, hero and villain characters, though. Give me Eggman. Eggman for Smash. This is a very silly match. Oh, I actually, he actually got a stock off on me. We never got a true sequel to Super Paper Mario. Yeah, a lot of the people who worked on Super Paper Mario went on to uh, Mario and Luigi. I, I think that had a lot more similarities to Super Paper Mario. Or, uh... Mario and Luigi had more similarities to Mario RPG than uh, Paper Mario did. I want, I want to suicide him so badly. Come on, get over here, fat bastard. Yeah, get got! Yeah. 
Watch Fighter Pass 2 via, be a villain pack. Well, the first fighter is Min Min, so I would not count on that. Unless Min Min was the villain all along. What sinister machinations could she have with her ramen? All right, now for now for a real non-silly match, maybe. I don't know who Kupu's, Kupu's, Lupu's is. Let's fight though. Rocking the uh, newly buffed DDD, and is he AFK? There he is. Oh, this is Lupu's, of course. I'm a doof. I've been talking to Lupu's. Hello, Lupu's. Oh, and this is a interesting map for DDD to be on with the, the slants and the Gordos. Oh, he parried. No. Well, I, I deserve that. I was facing the wrong way, god damn it. I don't know if that even is B reversible. Get out. If it is, I'm terrible at it. I don't actually know, though. Man, I'd love to do that to him again. I'm not gonna get to, but boy, I'd love it. Nope, that's not the move I wanted to do. Oh, that's it. Yeah, it wasn't the most spectacular match in the world. Oh, we suddenly got a lot of people. All right. Uh, I'm going to swap characters if you'll allow me to. Otherwise, I guess we won't see the next match. Who was I talking about? I was talking about... Uh, I was talking about Daisy and uh, uh, Mega Man. You know what? I'll do Mega Man. Give me Smegs. Oh, we got another moon. Two moons. First time they buffed DDD. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, I'm again in main. Min Min is garbage I hate. To play as, to play against, both. Three, two, one, go. Banana Slamma, someone rocking the Donkey Kong. Got a, a lot of our regulars are from a DK centric. Ganondorf. Oh, that was that was that was good. That was a good move. He did a good thing. I play Bowser too. They're 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 my main two. I would like to get other characters up to their level. I'm just have have not had success yet. And honestly, I think my Ganon's still a little bit better than my Bowser.
It is cool to see some of the buffs that we got this patch. Even if some of them are in strange places. Like, come, come on, Pat. Like, come on, dudes. Incineroar was not bad because his revenge was not strong enough. That, that was not the issue. I mean, I'll take it, thanks, but... Ooh, that poke. The lasers, the stupid range of the lasers is the most fun thing about Min Min for me. Which, I mean, I guess he's really saying that much. I, I didn't enjoy her that much. Maybe I'll play her a bit more offline, try to get used to her, but... Like many people, she's, she's had a really hard time clicking for me. Marth finally got... I, I'm impressed with what they did with Marth, because they buffed him in exactly the spot that he needed, and that's kind of rare for the Smash devs. You know, to buff the character in the place that everyone agrees they need buffs in. That never happens! It's crazy! Someone, uh, some people earlier in the stream are very confident about, uh, Mart's new prospects. I don't know how confident I am. I'm hopeful. I'd be happy if he and Lucina were both, uh, you know, viable. I know this isn't the most super competitive stage in the world. It's a little silly to have here, but it's, it's brand new. I'm having it for this stream, just to, to you know, try it out. It's a new stage. And it's not as bad as, uh, I mean, the roofs are there. That's, that's not great, but it's not as bad as a lot of the other new stages we've gotten. Yeah, as if Byleth wasn't bad enough, we got another, uh... We got another traveling stage with her. Hello, Shay. Back to K rule. You got some cool moves in, Whip. Alright, Sandy's up. Good luck, Sandy. Rocking the Pika. My mind is clear! I actually have no idea what DDD sounds like in Right Back Atches dub. How come no one complains that DDD doesn't have his, his, like, canon voice? They only care about Donkey Kong and Bowser. No, it's fine if DDD is voiced by Sakurai. Episode 1 Racer has a competitive scene. I wouldn't be that surprised. It's a well-designed racing game. I always thought that F-Zero had competitive potential if it were to, uh, you know, get online community, a new game. Then again, the, uh, the main argument against, you know, competitive racing is that it's just not as dynamic, as fun to watch, as other genres like fighting games. Bowser should be voiced by Shigeru Miyamoto. Just give him to Charles. Charles had every other Mario character anyway. Have him voice the princesses. Oh, Sandy actually got the first stock. And I jinxed him. Sorry, Sandy. I wonder what, uh... I wonder if Charles attempted... Charles Martinet attempted a Brooklyn Mario voice. What it would sound like. Oh, that's weird to imagine. Charles's impression of Lou Albano's Mario. I want to hear that now. I want to ask him to do that at a con.
Bowser should be voiced by Shaquille O'Neal. That would be more memed than Will Smith Genie. Remember that? That kind of came and went. Yet another in the line of endless, unnecessary live-action Disney sequels. When are they going to take Emperor's New Groove and make a really weird, dramatic, live-action version of that? That's coming, right? It's on the way. Oh! That looked like a complete accident, but fuck it, it worked. Oh, the super armor. Who's going to play Kronk? Uh, well, he's a big dude. And obviously the only people who can play big dudes are pro wrestlers. So yeah, The Rock. EA gives GG's. Oh, we got an EA defender in the chat. Yeah, we got one of them in the room. I'll tell you what I don't like in this year neighborhood. I don't like no EA sympathizers. Y'all can go right back where you came from. Ready? Is EA behind the... Does EA own the license to the new Star Wars? The... I mean, new Star Wars. The... Episode 1 Three, Racer Remake. Two, one, I don't know who all was involved with that. I guess it's not, uh... It's not new. It already existed on PC. It's just a, a new... They just ported it to Switch. I'll tell you where my issue with EA lies. Burnout Paradise. There's there's a there's a lot of reasons, a lot of horror stories, reasons to dislike DA, EA. But uh, yeah, Burnout Burnout's my story. Loved it on the PS3. Great game, custom soundtrack feature, very cool. Had a lot of fun. Pretty much 100% of it. Comes to Steam and uh, it will not run if you have a webcam installed on your system. It's bugged. A lot of people can't get it to launch at all. It's just broken. Never patched out. Never fixed. Continued to be on sale on Steam. You know, just taking people's money. A few years later, Remastered happens. Burnout Paradise Remastered. Also on Switch. Except the Remastered version requires an Origin account, so you gotta run Origin at the same time as Steam in order to play it. All the same problems. Still crashes for a lot of people. Oh, he saved him. No, well, he did, but then he, he didn't up B again in time. Has all the same problems, the remastered version. Still crashes for a bunch of people. Still has the webcam issue. Will not run if you have a webcam installed on your system. So they did not fix the coding, they did not fix any of the problems, they just put another version on Steam to sell again and make more money that is the exact same game, the exact same code, and the exact same glitches. EA wants your money, and that's that's all. That's all they care about. I, rem I don't remember the particular game. I think there was a... I know there was a lawsuit with a game company that, uh... There was a plagiarism lawsuit that I think someone reskinned or based a huge portion of their original game off of an existing game. Maybe it was GTA or something was the, the one ba being based off of. And, uh... The way it was proven in court was that they were able to reproduce a glitch from the original game in the plagiarizing game that had not been it had not been found and patched out so that proved that it was the same it was the same code that they had stolen
EA's dick. It's in your ass. Not my joke, but I don't care, I like it. Duke Nukem for Smash. Come on. Last f last four characters, last five characters are all just gonna be big, buff, manly shooter dudes. Final five. Duke Nukem, Serious Sam, Doom Guy, Master Chief, uh, the, 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 the Space Marine from Warhammer. I did, that's where that's from, right? The Space Marines? Call of Duty guy. John Call of Duty. John Cod. Ready? Charles O. Duty for Smash. John Turok. Oh, hello. Well, now now I feel bad that I didn't pick Ganon. If we could have had a Ganon ditto. ditto. Assuming Shay wins, which is a big assuming. Loopy Lupus has had a lot of a lot of success with some very cheesy D to D tactics, which I can't discredit because they're working. So it is no reason not to use them. But you really, this is a very mashy game. You just kind of have to mash to get out of his uh, his suction. Torak had a new game within the past like five years, right? It's still technically an ongoing franchise. It's not dead. My only experience with it was uh, my brother owned Turok Evolution on the PS2. Oh no! I never played it, but he liked it. I'm not, I'm not a shooter's guy. Some, we ta I, I talked earlier about how uh, Japanese game devs pretty much have an established priority when it comes to uh, getting games into... getting characters into Smash. Which is just, it's Japanese corporate culture. It's companies working together. Keeping the economy strong within Japan. So who's left in terms of Japanese companies? Just like Arc System Works is Japanese, right? Hey, good show. Oh, don't feel bad. You had a, you had a long stretch up there. Now we have Ganondorf versus Mega Man. I am sad I didn't play Dorf now. We could have had a Dorf Ditto. Everyone loves Ditto. They're a favorite matchup for everyone. Ready? I'm an okay Mega Man. He's, he's not a main of mine. Let's see how this goes. If I three stalk him or something, that's going to make, make me sound like an asshole that I said that. Flashy. Oh, the ceiling, no! He's being real flashy with those uh, warlock punches and up tilts. What are you doing? You're trying to whiz kick into that? Good luck. Get out of here. Go up. Leave. Go on. Oh, right into that.
You're not gonna aerial. You're not gonna turn around, warlock punch me. Go home with that. Get that shit out of here. Uh oh. I say that, I'm not doing great against this person. Granted, I'm not a main, but. Oh, oh, that almost got him, kinda. Yeah, you bomb. Eat pants. Get out of here. Oh! My fist didn't hit him? Bomb myself, no worries, it's fine. That nair though, that's gonna kill me. I shouldn't have air dodged. Oh, how'd I miss that? I know how I miss because I'm bad comes to franchises made by Koei, they're up there. Get fisted. I'm gonna fist dwarf. I'm gonna whiz kick? I knew you were gonna whiz kick. Come on, whiz kick again, I dare you. Get up there. Go home. Oh, I went right into it. I guess Dynasty Warriors count, but then. Are there really a lot of a lot of characters really known for Dynasty Dynasty Warriors? Are they gonna add Lu Bu to Smash? I'd like to change if I may. I haven't eaten lunch yet. I got some uh got some meatloaf from my mom. Meanwhile I got people on uh, people on Discords posting amazing European looking fine meals. Just this past couple days, I had people in the Bowser Chords and uh, Gunner Chords showing off their French, Italian cooking or whatever. And I'm just here having instant ramen, meatloaf. Wicker has a lot of Ganondorf experience. I'll tell you a pro tip. I'll tell you the, the tech I, I recently realized. Ganondorf's up B outranges the suction on K. Rule's cannon. So if you up B from the front, I'm pretty sure Ganondorf wins the interaction and you get the grab. Oh no, under the stage. An official fighting game center around horror movie killers. I would not be surprised. Terror Drone, but that's a fan-made game. Was that, uh, was that, like, horror movie characters or creepy creepypasta characters? Because I know there have been, like, not-so-great fan attempts at creepypasta fighters as well. Although, I still think, like, Slenderman, at least, has enough of a cultural legacy to be included in such a game. Slenderman, Freddy, Jason. There's probably games of like the the horror movie character, the old horror movie characters like Frankenstein and the Wolfman, right? That's got to be a fighting game. That's almost Darkstalkers. 
I'm not quite, but... There are licensing issues. It's a shame that, uh... It's a shame that licensing issues prevent a lot, a lot of potential Japanese games from coming out over here. Super Robot Wars. I know one of them had, uh... They've had, like, Gundam in them. They had Big O was in one, which is awesome! I want to play that one! But I don't think it was. it's been localized because of the licensing problems. And, uh, oh, so Funimation recently tweeted, hashtag believe it, and I don't know if they were just, you know, messing around, just, you know, it, it, it's an anime quote, let's, let's tweet it, or if it's to suggest that maybe they're acquiring the license to Naruto, which, I mean, Monopoly's bad, but... If Funimation did get the licenses to all of the Shonen Jump series, then we could actually get, you know, Shonen Jump games in English over here. Which, you know, maybe a day late and a dollar short, especially after Jump Force. It was not so well received. Still, it'd be cool. That's been the main thing that has kind of, uh... Kind of had me less keen on the... On the jump games, because, you know, I watch all these series dubbed, so... That I could have jump ultra stars, jump superstars. But only in Japanese. That's, that's a little less exciting. Oh, thank you for the follow, Shay. See you later. Have a nice day. Pabs finally gets up. They've been waiting a while. We got a bunch of new new players all at once. They've been very patient. Obviously a matchup in K. Rool's favor. I don't know why anyone would play Luigi, but well, you'd possibly see him. He's one of the worst characters in the game. Terrible neutral B. Terrible fireball. Does nothing. Worst projectile. Does like no damage. His up B is so inconsistent. RNG on a side B. If you can't tell by now, I'm being ironic. Luigi only has that grab combo. That's it. What do you mean grab? His grab is to throw the vacuum at them. That's the best part of his grab. Is that it's a projectile. He is such a polarizing character, though. Either he can get close to you and it's a zero to death, or he just can't get close to you. I'm terrible with him. He's too technical for me. Well, you got a last hit in. You got the fuck you hit. There was a, uh, they had made a ARMS character cord to be updated whenever the ARMS character was revealed, whatever it ended up being. And I believe that's now the official Min Min cord, because it had, you know, thousands of people in it. But then there were others that wanted to, once Min Min was revealed, other Min Min cords started popping up. Like, they wanted to be the official one on Smash cords. Oh, rip. 
There's been some chaos in the Smash Chords of late. I think there are like, uh, there's like a renegade plant discord that doesn't like the regular one. There's a, the original Game & Watch discord was apparently not enforcing a lot of the stuff that the, the Smash Chords Unified like to, uh, like to have enforced. Like, they, they don't allow not safe for work channels. Things like that. So the Game & Watch cord got kicked out. And they made a new Game & Watch cord that was, you know, compliant for the, 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 the Smash Universal server man management, whatever they do. So now there's, there's two Game & Watch servers. You can do it, Sandy! Top tier for the win! This sounds like banjo music. It's not, it's Dragon Quest, but... It's just that, it got that, like, corny, cartoony trumpet going on. What a bizarre, uh, what a bizarre swap that would be if you took, like, uh, like a cartoon composer and switched him around, switched roles with an anime composer. Like, who's a, who's a, who's a well-known anime composer. Kenji Yamamoto, I guess. Well, is he... Does he ever compose for the anime of Dragon Ball Z? I don't know if he does. I know he was the game's composer. Oh, no! The spike! That's it. Say, uh... Toshihiko Sahaki. Sakaki? I always forget his last name. He's a composer for the original Hunter Hunter and uh, Big O. Take him and swap him with Kevin Manthe. Just see what happens. Have a jazzy anime guy compose for uh, Invader Zim and Johnny Test. Have the Invader Zim guy do an anime. I only recently found out they were the same composer, by the way. Between, uh, Invader Zim and Johnny Tess. And apparently the, uh, Johnny Tess creator also... Also created Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide and some other shows. I don't know, it's kind, kind of a bizarre... Kind of a bizarre resume. I, I did not watch Johnny Test growing up. I kind of avoided that era of Cartoon Network. It just... It, it, to me, it just immediately looked like an obvious... Like, rip-off of Dexter. Just, you know, with, with gender and role reversals. But... I, I know there was more to the show than that. It, did, it didn't, just didn't look very appealing. And now the only thing we really still have from it is the whip crack jokes. Looked at the tweet you talked about because they retweeted that said Funimation UK was going to be streaming Naruto and Boruto starting July. So does that mean that they have the rights to that? Or do they... Is Viz just like letting them stream them? I don't know what the case with that is. Because uh, Naruto and Bleach are owned by Viz over in the West. 
or licensed by Viz. Bleach, final arc, finally being animated. Very much looking forward to that. It's so cool to see uh, just enough fan demand come together to make something happen like that. I wonder if that was the case with the uh, Inuyasha final act. I wasn't following closely enough with its fan base to see how that came about. But that was another series that got the finale, like, years later. Okay, see you later, Omni. Thanks for hanging out. King fight. Who's the other king? Oh, Dedede. A lot of evil kings. A lot of fat evil kings in Nintendo games. Well, as evil as you want to call DDD. All these villains just come down to, like, uh... Well, DDD and K. Rule, at least, just come down to, like, hoarding food. When you think about it. Why did K. Rule want the bananas again? I'm not familiar enough with my Donkey Kong lore in the first game. And then the second and third, the second game is just him being mad at Donkey Kong over bananas. And the third game is him going fucking insane and thinking he's a scientist. What a weird game Donkey Kong 3 was. Donkey Kong Country 3. Technically, there was a Donkey Kong 3. It was a different game, but no one really remembers the OG Donkey Kong arcade games as much. Every single time Lupus gets Lilith, it's a curse. This is a controversial stage. It's a, it's a counter pick in some rule sets, banned in others. I think these days it's usually it's usually banned. I just have it in because again, this is more of a friendlies rule set. We're not here to take it too seriously. Have a little extra variety in the in the stage list. But wow, that's some bad luck on Lupus's part. DK3, the villain was K. Rule and sign. It was... I'm pretty sure it was confirmed to be K. Rule in an outfit. I mean, he had a different... He had a different persona in Donkey Kong 2 as well. He went from King K. Rule to Captain K. Rule. I think he just likes to roleplay, and that's all K. Rule. Here, let me look this up. I, I have a I have a browser window open. K. Rulenstein. All right, Donkey Kong Wiki. Baron K. Rulenstein is one of the many aliases of King K. Rule. Yep, so it is it is him. It is we never did highlights of our Donkey Kong three playthrough. I'll see you later, Lupus. I'm sorry you only got Lilat. We ne never did highlights, but, uh... It's just a K, K. Rule and sign just came off as, like, a, like a brain-damaged K. Rule. Like, the first two games fucked him up, and all he could do was kind of hover back and forth on a propeller. That was his entire fight. He didn't fight back. He just floated around in a room full of traps. Like he didn't really know where he was. Three, two, one, go! Just shield wiggle. Wiggle what your mama gave you, K. Rule. And then Donkey Kong 64, he was back to being a king again. But his fight involved boxing? K. 
Rool is a weird, cartoony kind of villain. Like, he, he was more cartoony than the series he's from. I guess that's not necessarily true. He got more cartoony as the Donkey Kong series did. Because the first game was very... It was very ambient. It was very pleasant and nice and natural feeling. It didn't really feel like a, a wacky Mickey Mouse cartoon setting. Two got a little more so. The enemy designs got a little more pronounced. A little more colorful. And then three went full-on cartoony wacky. With the soundtrack and the settings and the characters animations and everything. Then come Donkey Kong 64 and K. Rule is just this Saturday morning cartoon villain. To the same kind of degree as he is in the in the CG animated show. It's very it's a very strange progression the Donkey Kong series took. And then I think they kind of found a balance in the Returns games of being cartoony without quite being, like, corny. Oh. No mercy from Whipper. Alright, here we go, me and Whipper. His reward is that he gets to fight another Ganon. That shouldn't have worked. Does Is it not work if they DI out of it? I wonder if that's the Etika that I see in the Smash chords. I think there's one in... I'm in five discords. I always get them mixed up. I think he's in Ganon Cord. I'm not sure, though. If you're watching the stream, then welcome, Etika. Uh-oh. No. You're not gonna you're not gonna get me with that. Fuck off. Ah, almost. No. It's always a ledge game with me and Whip. That's that's death. Hit me. Hit me with a cannonball. Come on. Yes! Save me! I don't know why I did a D smash there. That was a very dumb idea. No! Still alive. This stock can still go any way. Nope! Still here! Not going yet! Ah, I couldn't get it in time! I wanted to try the up B thing. Get out of here. Come on, break your shield. Oh, I lost my jump. I thought I had one left yet. wasn't the move I wanted to do. Get out of here. No! I was just barely too low.
Donkey Kong 3. King K. Rule was seemingly replaced as Master of the Kremlings by Chaos, a robotic entity. Uh, that's right, he was like, uh... He was like inside a giant robo Kremlin Terminator in 3 before he revealed that he was K. Rule Scientist. Uh, how long you been going for, Whip? I haven't been paying attention. Uh, if you get to Sandy again, I'll, I'll ask you to back out again so that Sandy can uh, play, you know, someone else. Unless Sandy is insistent on fighting you again. His arm music is arms music is pretty all right. It's a good addition to the game. Give us Black Doom from Shadow the Hedgehog. Bro, Shadow isn't even in Smash. I mean, he's an assist trophy, I think. Is Shadow still an assist trophy? I don't even remember. It was so bizarre to me that they announced the concept of Echo Fighters without making Shadow one of them, though. He seemed like the perfect candidate. Would, would be cool if after this wave of uh, DLC Wave 2... We got a wave of Echo characters. Which some people have theorized insofar as... Ooh, the ceiling kill. With this wave of DLC characters, there's going to be a... Uh... That's a... Wow, that's a lot of height. The character select screen is going to be perfectly aligned for both the stacked version and the non-stacked version. Or that there could conceivably be more room in the non-stacked version for Echoes? I don't remember exactly the argument. But there was a theory that there would be a wave of Echoes after the DLC 1 and 2 packs. Which would be cool. I'd be happy if they did do that. I think there are really, some really good candidates like uh, Shadow being an obvious one. Proto Man or Base would be options for uh, Mega Man Echo. At the risk of having a third Shoto Echo, Akuma would be cool. Dixie Kong is a popular request. With a lot of moves carried from uh, Diddy, Kong, Diddy Kong and uh, Donkey Kong's spinning up B. Which is not a good up B to have. It's one of the worst recoveries in the game, but... It is canonically the kind of move she uses, unfortunately for her. Give us a bunch of Belmonts. Yeah, and, and, and final pack. Five five new Belmonts. Now, if, anoth if another Castlevania character got in, and they almost, they certainly won't, it would be, it would be Alucard. I'm sorry to say. He's just the next fan favorite, and he's already an assist trophy. There is an Alucard assist trophy in the game. They really did give a lot of love to uh, Castlevania. With uh, two characters, a uh, fully fleshed out boss with like battle phases and everything, a stage with several other bosses appearing on it intermittently. They have like eight of them or something, and an and an Alucard assist trophy. A lot of Castlevania stuff for them being uh, newcomers this game. Alex just uh, hanging out in the stands. I don't mind as long as it's the room is not, like, full. Oh, okay. Oh, so did Sandy leave? If it weren't for the abundance of swordsmen, he would have gotten in first now. No, it was, it was definitely going to be Simon. Simon is Simon's the face of, of Castlevania. the one with the most games is the one that most people recognize, I think. And he was the 
you know, he's from the NES era. That's where a lot of the a lot of the Smash characters come from because it's such a it's a series based on gaming history. And Simon's the most significant Belmont in that regard. Bomberman would be cool as a character. He hasn't been doing a lot lately, though. They had to cap off the Captain N trio. That's right. Uh, who were they? I know it was Mega Man, it was Simon Belmont. And Link? Well, I'm sure Ka uh, I'm sure Konami standed to gain some profit from them being in Smash, from them like selling the license or something. As long as Konami doesn't have to make new games themselves, they're cool with any other source of income. Pit, he was he was he was the one, yeah. You know what that means, though, is Captain N himself is obviously going to be in the next Smash game. Yeah, imagine they open the floodgates to characters from other media. There's, there would be no stopping it at that point. It really would be SpongeBob and Goku in Smash. Smash remains the only game that Robin and Joker are playable in, but Batman isn't. Man, I can't, I can't wait to see what the, uh, what the three Fire Emblem games we get, three Fire Emblem characters we get in the next Smash are gonna be. Gotta keep them new Fire Emblems coming. Yes, sir. Oh hey, we got our we got our first Martha of the night, I believe. Some of the most popular uh, requests for characters are uh, Bandana Waddle Dee. People want another Kirby rep. Kirby rep, which is bizarre to me because the character doesn't even have a name, but people want him. I think Dixie Kong is fairly popular. Sora is by far the number one of the character polls. Or was, last time we had character polls. Sora, I believe Sora was the only one that was on all three regional polls. Uh, oh, we got people who are clogging up the aisles. If I lose this, I will, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll kick the spectators, because we, we want people who are in the, in the arena to be in the rotation, so they're not taking up spots. I think I, maybe I can kick people without losing my place in line. I don't remember. Why did I do that? That was a mistake. That was also a mistake. What am I doing? I'm just... All my moves are going the wrong way for some reason. Oh, the boomerang interrupted me. And I did another up B for some reason as well. Is my GameCube controller going? Maybe it's just online. Oh, not quite. There we go. Just give me that Doria.
Oh no, he got the spike on me. That was not the move I wanted to do. Play enough links to really know his recovery that well. I know I know what it is. I'm just not very good at uh, intercepting it. Except from the side, the way I'm not supposed to do it. I'm supposed to get it from the top. Pesky Link dealt with. A likely fighter is Chrono from Chrono Trigger. <sighs> Maybe. He's got a lot of history. He's got a lot of gaming sig significance, but I don't really hear anyone requesting him. I don't think he's... has done anything recently. I just don't think he's popular enough. Like, I hear a lot more requests for uh, Lloyd from Tales of, and even Isaac from Golden Sun for some reason. People just kind of forgot about Chrono. It'd be cool. I think a few people would be very, a few select people would be extremely happy with Chrono. And again, that gaming history significance. Oh no! The little. Hitbox, the little nyuk. Ah, I miss. He gets some distance with that. Gino is, for whatever reason, an absurdly popular character choice. So this fellow was clowning a bit, that last stock. not good. That's a kill throw. Get out of here. Go home, Luigi. Oh, wow, he survived! Go home, Luigi! You drunk, Luigi! You don't belong here at this party! This is a player one party! You might still be clowning a little bit, I'm not sure. This Luigi's doing some tricky combo stuff, but he's also soon doing some very goofball stuff. And that was very goofball of me. That's just death. Rip me. If fan demand has anything to do with it, then uh, Gino is like the next most requested, like longest requested character, I think. 
I think he's the next fan favorite. All right, I'm going to uh, kick Alex because they're just they're taking up a slot, and uh, I think I'll maybe change my character. We've been going almost four hours. I don't think we're going to go too much longer. I said I, said I was going to play princess, so I'm, I'm going to play pretty princess. I guess we're just going to sit here and watch. Master Chief or Echo Fighters. No, they've never done that with... They've never made two characters from do two different series Echo Fighters. I don't think they do... They wouldn't do either of them nasty that way. They're similar enough that I do think it's going to be one or the other. I don't think both characters are going to get in. But definitely not Echoes. Honestly, I think Doomguy might be a little more relevant these days. What's, what's Halo even doing anymore? Are they still making Halo games? And they just kind of move on to, like, uh, Destiny? And their, their other IPs? Bungie? I think I'm gonna go until I lose next. So when my, when my Peach goes down, I'll end the stream. We got five, six matches before that even, before I even start with her. <clears throat> so that'll be another, like, uh, half hour. Baron K. Rulenstein's defeat, the body of Chaos would drop from the ceiling of Castle Chaos and crash into the ground. Once on the ground, Chaos's body would release Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong, who had been kidnapped by Baron K. Rulenstein to be used as living batteries for Chaos. Okay. So Donkey Kong 3 had a, had a Matrix plot. Except, you know, it wasn't originally the plan in the Matrix. They were going to be processors, not not human batteries. But you know, it was the '90s. People, the producers thought people wouldn't know what processors were, so fuck it, they're batteries. Okay, see you later, Pabs. I'm sorry I didn't get to see it, Whipper. I get. I guess Pabs wasn't too pleased about it because he just left. Three, two, oh, Whipper is now one, using Min Min. Go. Well, whoever loses this might be the might be the final opponent of the night. I guess I have to win one match before I would even get to this person. Knots with Dusty and Marv. I don't know any of those people. That laser is so ridiculous. LM Gang. 
Who is LM? And why does he need a gang? Little Min Min? Bubsy for Smash. You know what? I wouldn't even be that surprised if he was in costume. I'd be pretty surprised if they spent a whole character slot on Bubsy. The most famously shitty video game character of all time. I don't, I don't even know how well a Bubsy costume would sell. Like, are people... Are, people buy San, the Sans costume and the Cuphead because they actually like the characters. It's not, not mostly non-ironic. But would people buy a Bubsy costume ironically? Would it would it be worth the memes? Okay, you know what? It would sell. It would sell ironically. Maybe that can be that that can finally be Brawler's meme costume. That'll what that'll what get people playing Brawler. Okay, you know what? No, people would buy it. But it wouldn't get more people playing me Brawler. Like no one would really want to commit to maining Bubsy. They would have their joke, they would have their fun, and then that would be it. As opposed to people who actually like legitimately picked up and wanted to learn me Gunner because they wanted to play as Sans. I'd like that for Brawler. And for Swordsman. I I'd like more people to play the Miis and take them seriously. You know, give them, give them a shot. Maybe some tournament results. But so far, Gunner's just been hogging all the good costumes like an asshole. Freddy Fazbear could be a le funny meme costume for Brawler. And it would sell, but again, I don't think that's one that would get people to, like, main Brawler. Sackboy, maybe. Sackboy would be a cool uh, me Brawler costume. And he'd be, he'd be about the right proportions. Ubisoft needs a rep. Uh, Rayman has been requested for a little while. Rayman has a good chance. Ezio is already a me costume. Which isn't necessarily a fully disqualifier, but... An Assassin's Creed character is possible. I don't see him as one of the most likely, necessarily. How about Cousin Nico from Grand Theft Auto? I figure most indie game characters are going to be skins. Most of them, yeah. Shovel Knight is a assist trophy. I don't believe Shovel Knight has, uh, has any costumes. Steve... Minecraft being, like, one of the biggest, most successful video games ever conceived has a, a good shot as a character. Or a skin. I would not be surprised at all if, if Minecraft Steve were a character, though. Oh, double Min Min. Commence the fisting. Shantae is very highly requested. She's a very possible indie rep. She is already... There are Shantae spirits in this game. Which are little, little in-game collectibles. So in some form, there is Shantae representation, just not as a character, as an, as an item, or a stage or anything. Would be cool. A lot of people would be happy with Shantae being playable, or even a costume. Hollow Knight would definitely sell me sword fighter players. People would buy the shit out of a Hollow Knight costume. And that would be one of the ones that I'm, per I'm sure would come with music.
once again with the laser shenanigans. I hear they're making a new uh, Super Meat Boy. Which, I mean, you know. Meat Boy's got some clout in the indie game scene. But, uh... It's just the proportions. He's just a little square dude. He couldn't he couldn't really make for a decent meat costume. He could be a, a hat, I guess, but that's... It's not really the same. That's not what sells. P people love the costumes that, you know, make it seem like you're actually playing as the character, like Sans and Cuphead. Tetramino's gonna be in. Tetramino would have been my joke character instead of Piranha Plant. Had I been in charge, had I been, been Mr. Sakurai. It is amazing to me that there's not more Tetris representation in this game. Because it is in the game. They have the rights. There are two Tetris music tracks in Smash Brothers. But there's no level, no item, no assist trophy. And it seems like it would it would make a perfect... It would be a, be a perfect Smash level. I mean, a very casual one, obviously, but... If they can make a Pac-Man level, they can definitely make a Tetris level. It's only one of the, like, most influential video games in the history of humans. Uh, there's been talk about uh, Klonoa in Wickersham's Discord recently. Who is not the most incredible, historically significant video game character, but he had, he had a series. He's another uh, Namco character, so he would be number two after Pac-Man. You know what? I could I could buy a I could believe a Klonoa me costume. I don't know what he'd be because I don't know how Klonoa plays in his games. If he'd be like a brawler or a gunner or a sword fighter. I think people would buy a Klonoa costume, though. Especially if it came with music. He seems like he'd be a good uh, music candidate. Yeah, imagine Bubsy getting in over Klonoa. Ready? If you're uh, one of the new fellas joining, thank you for joining. But uh, we've been going four hours now, and we're just hitting the end of our stream. So I said I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going until I, I until I, I lose this peach. When my peach goes down, we're done with the stream. So we probably probably got one or two matches after this to go. If you can beat Mr. Link here, you could be the one. You could be the one to beat my peach. No innuendo there. We are getting some some minimums. We had uh, I tried her at the start of the stream. It, eh. Did as well as you would expect someone playing a character for the first time to do. We had one fella in who got her pretty well. Whipper has done pretty decently with her. Again. Well, I don't know how much Whipper is, has uh, practiced her. Might be as little practice as I've given her. The laser really is very cheesable. Oh, it, it goes... It angles really far down, too. Poor Link. Nukem could actually work better because he's had two platforming, 2D platforming games. That, do, that doesn't really matter. They're they're very creative, and uh, lately, especially with the DLC characters, they've been very good about uh, making characters feel true to their original, true to their original series and games.
There's also the whole... There's the PlayStation 2 platforming mascot trilogy. Or a triad. Of uh, Jack, Ratchet, and uh, Sly Cooper. Between which... I think Ratchet has had the most uh, the most success and the most legacy between. Sly almost had a movie, but that got cancelled. And he hasn't really been doing anything since then. Hasn't had any new games. He's just kind of in limbo. He had a compilation on the PS3. And just, as far as I know, nothing on PS4. Jack is getting a, a trilogy soon. A remaster. So that's something. But Ratchet's the only one who's just really been continuing to make games. He's getting a new one coming out. People have been uh, making jokes about Girl Ratchet. Got a... I don't know how successful the movie was, but unlike the Sly movie, at least the Ratchet one was released. Min Min, dominating. Alright, let's see how, uh... Let's see how my projectile bullshit does. There we go. If I win, we get a match against Leroy. If I lose, I guess that's it. GG's. I'm not too hopeful, because I haven't played Peach in a little while. Three, two, one, go! However, she is good at staying on people's asses. OH NO! Well, now I, I was doing so well. And then I was a big, dumb, stupid head. Why am I my own worst enemy? Rick. Well, I think that was the match. As long as I was staying on her, I was kind of good. Then that happened, and fucking ripped me. She's got some weight to her. I wonder I wonder where she is on the weight scale. I know. I get loud for Smash. It's the only thing I get to get loud for. Let me have this. Imagine if I was on voice chat for every one of Nick's Smash streams. Oh, that sounded even better with Discord compression. Alright. I tried. Well, as stated. Sorry, I know you've all been waiting. But we got to stop at some point. Otherwise, it'll just be going forever. That's the end of the Smash stream. We went for a while. I had fun. We had some good matches. Thank you all for coming. Thanks for playing. Thank you for the new subscriptions. Ah, uh, Min Min's. I guess fun? Eh. I don't think new players are going to like Min Min. See you guys next time.